Good morning, lads. How's it going? Um, today's a bit of a different video. I'm going to face it this way. I, I, I haven't even set it up yet. It's like... I, I, I've had a long day, okay? Let me just have this one. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm just going to set up the set now and then I can talk. It is looking like an awful day today. Honestly, I'm still going to go for the run, though. Oh! Wrong one. Oh, I actually need the toilet. Wait, hang on. Let's just... Hello, how's it going? How is it going? Wow, I haven't done a video like this in absolutely forever and my hair looks awful. I look like an- I just look like an idiot. Awesome! <laughs> ah, what about that? It's not a Max Roach video without the jersey, let's be honest. It's like they should sponsor me. It's like they- okay, they're not gonna sponsor me. Hello, how's it going? My name is Max Roach and welcome back to the vlog. It is day 57? Day 57? Or day 57 everyone and uh, I'm back today with another video and I'm using the mic like I'm a commentator and in the red corner yeah <laughs> why don't you build me up build me up buddy today I'm using the uh, the microphone like a stand up comedian I believe it makes me funnier but it doesn't um, and you may be thinking is this another breakdown video no it's not a breakdown video breakdown video in the title no you didn't throw up that was a joke one of the lads which stuck around here welcome to the channel uh god what did I have for breakfast this morning I had pancakes for breakfast with maple syrup that's why I'm like this not fat that is that I'm a bit I'm a bit hyper. No, it's not even the morning. It's actually like closer to the evening than the morning. I've really just been editing, getting final stuff. This video is uploading at the moment to edit. That is, I'm happy to finally let that go online. It comes out next week. It's another vlog. Uh, why am I acting like this is different? But today I'm going to be talking by the title. Is it's kind of a story time. I've been around the channel for a while. You've probably seen that I upload quite a few short films. I make quite a few stuff, and therefore. It's on my channel. But today I'm going to take you back. I'm taking you back to December 2018. What a year. 2018. Finished my GCSE. Started college. It's about it. I'm not going to lie. Nothing much happened in 2018. Oh, I had a show. Obviously back then my channel was in a massive state. Oh my God, was it in a state. We're talking like... November time here, like end of November, start of December, the weird phase, you know what I'm talking about. The ones where you get the small chocolates instead of the slightly larger ones on your Christmas calendar, that sort of time. And I don't know, I I uh, I was in, I, I went to the Into Film Festival that year, I know advertising that Into Film of the Year awards. I thought, screw it, I'll give it a go. And this led on to one of my first purposely made films. Uh, the story was confused, definitely. Uh, the whole thing was just a bit confused, but but I still entered it. No, I, I still talk about it with people, and some people may ask me, like, oh, why is it still up on your channel if you don't like it? But it's just for the pure fact to kind of show where I come from and, like, how much I've, Im you know, I've improved technically wise in terms of editing. And, and some would say performance. Um, I had a few ideas in mind, but n none were possible. Uh, a lot of my films back then, I didn't really think about what I had. Obviously, I took film studies at school, and I made one film before that called Countenance. What I mean, I was I was only acting in it. Uh, I was actor and producer, storyboard artist, kind of writer. I haven't made one by myself. This was like a kind of self-production. I had two days of filming. I had one day when we went to London with some of the lads, uh, we went to the Premium Rhapsody pop-up store and it was around Christmas time, it was a really good day out with the boys and that was lightning, right? Holy magoli! It's really far away then. But yeah, it was a weird day. I, t I had used my Osmo Mobile 2 as well as my camera. I took out my M10 and I just went around London, filmed a few bits, didn't really think much of it, didn't really focus on cinematography, didn't, I didn't really know much about cinematography back then. I remember, I just started college like I did it like I only just started using Premiere Pro I I've never like I took a few photos of flowers but that's about it for photography uh, I never tried to do something special with my photos you only have to go down my Instagram to see what it was like but that was probably not the best idea judging that most of the film is cinematography and then the second day afterwards was when all the story was gonna be made what was the story you ask I don't I don't know even know myself um we have this one boy we start off with him and then he decides to go into the other boys room and they do some kind of deal where he hands over gingerbread men and the gingerbread men were supposed to represent drugs and he had kind of trips out and as he keeps eating them it gets crazy and he feels happy and then he's not because he's addicted then i made a music video basically with the same narrative the same year <laughs> it's uh it's shocking 
Shocking is probably a good word for it. Bad is another great word for it. Um, experimental. I have another word not affiliated with it. Um, good, definitely not related with it. Didn't make the festival. Surprisingly, I know shock horror. I'm actually mortified. But there's an upside to it. I mean, this film was the only time I worked with someone else. One of the first times ever actually, like, directing. I've never really directed in my life. I mean, it's not like I really had a crew to direct. The montage bits didn't need directing. The bits done at home were done with my sister. Um, so before this, my sister has done um, theatre. She was she did producing for theatre at university. She even took a show to Fringe. She went to the Fringe Festival. She was really, really good at it. Told Abby I wanted to do a film. This is a story. She didn't care. She probably knew that it was going to be bad. Um, by God, did she help me. We rearranged my whole room for it. She rearranged her whole room for it because that other bit was done in her room. I, I, I was shocked. Obviously now it, it, it kind of like comes to me that that's like a normal thing for people to help you out. But I've never had something where I had someone else like kind of agree with what I'm saying and like Abby, Abby, you know, sacrificed in the evening just to like help me make this stupid film. And that was what was nice about it. I've never had that before. That filming experience was that someone was helping me create my image that I wanted. We worked on it and we worked hard to try and do some of the effects. Doing some of the cloning effects and some of the transitions took time. Um, the film would not be able to be possible without Abby, you know. And that's why I have a fond memory of it, is that that night where we're making it and then my parents coming in and being like, oh, what are you doing? I'm oh, making a film. How cool is that? You know, going down at 12 o'clock at, at night to get a night shot of me falling backwards for some reason, uh, trying to figure out how to do stuff as a little brother and sister combo. And she is the best producer I've ever worked with. And she will be the best producer I, I ever worked with. Um, and it wasn't just that film she helped me on. She helped me on all my other films. So every single project I've done, um, Abby would watch it. Even my, my videos, my stupid videos, that she'd watch them over and be like, okay, you made a spelling mistake, Max, that's just not good. But no, like, kind of the moral of the story is like, even if the end result is bad, you know, you still made a film at the end of the day. You made something, you created it. People helped you. Like, Abby and I, by the end of it, couldn't care what the film looked like. We had such a good time filming it. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. The journey is sometimes more valuable than the destination is the lessons you learn along the way if i didn't make that film i bet you my absolute every penny i would not be making stuff now what i took away from that film was so much in terms of like composing an edit in your head while you're shooting you know learning the effect of lighting that can have on a shot the production design really paying to detail what's being shown on camera uh, the structuring when you're going to film how to tell someone what you want it to look like without them being freaked out it was a messy film but we had fun making it. And sometimes that's all that matters. Well, especially with student films, if you did that, like a, 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 I mean, like a massive budget film and there was a budget behind it, as other people wanting it, it'd be a bit of a knockoff. If they're like, where's the film? Then we've just funded this whole film. Where's the film? And then you're like, oh, sorry, we just had a laugh, you know? We spent all the money on food. It was great. The thing is, is just don't be worried about it being bad. Because if you're good all the time, what's the point? So that about does it for today's video. It was a very deep one. I do apologize. But it's a story I wanted to tell. And I actually recorded this video three times. This is the third time of me recording it. Not today, but I recorded it about December time. It's going to be the third video to come out in 2020. And I recorded it again the same day I recorded the first vlog. And then now I'm recording it now. And hopefully I don't delete this one. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you want to check out the other videos, make sure you check them out. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. So, without further ado, I will see you tomorrow. I have something very actual to have planned for tomorrow. I have a pretty cool video planned for tomorrow. Stick around for that one. Forget me. I'm going to just... Bye-bye.